Good morning and welcome to another day of daily devotions from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lake shore. Today we continue our journey through the second chapter of the book of James. In fact, we conclude that chapter today. So listen to these words. Someone might claim, you have faith and I have action, but how can I see your faith apart from your actions? Instead, I'll show you my faith by putting it into practice, in faithful action. It's good that you believe that God is one. Ha! That even the demons can believe this. And they tremble in fear. Are you so slow? Do you need to be shown that faith without actions has no value at all? What about Abraham, our father? Hasn't he shown to be righteous through his actions? when he offered his son Isaac at the altar? See, his faith was at work along with his actions. In fact, his faith was made complete because of his faithful actions. So the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and God regarded it to him as righteousness. What is more, Abraham was called God's friend. So you see that a person is shown to be righteous through faithful action and not through faith alone. In the same way, wasn't Rahab the prostitute shown to be righteous when she received the messengers as her guests and then sent them on by another road? As a lifeless body is dead, so faith without actions is dead. Well, if we wanted any more of an explanation about faith being a verb, here it is. Quite bluntly, faith without actions is a dead faith. Faith without actions doesn't do anything for you, according to Scripture. So if you look to your faith to say, my faith saves me, there's salvation, all of those things, what we're saying here are dead they mean nothing if you're not actively living your faith. So memorizing the Bible, coming to church every Sunday, um, being able to give a tenth of your, your income as a tithe to the church every single week, none of that means anything if you don't actually live your faith. If you are not currently involved in doing something that loves your neighbor, that makes the frightened person be less afraid, that makes the hungry person's belly be filled, that makes the homeless have a home. If you're not involved in doing these types of things, then James says your faith might as well not exist. It doesn't mean anything, because again, faith isn't something you possess. It's something you live. Faith without actions, is dead, meaningless. It's not life-giving. It's not helpful. So I challenge you today to look at your life and see how do you let your faith live? What are you doing to help be a co-creator with Christ? of God's beloved community right here and right now. Our faith is so much more than just us. It's about the community. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for loving us and showing us that faith is something that we do, not just something we have. Help us, Lord, to search in our lives today and find the ways in which we live an active faith. And if we're not doing it now, Lord, give us the courage to take those steps to put our faith into action. And if we are doing it, Lord, let us find ways to celebrate that, to give thanks for that, to do it humbly, to serve you. Lord, let us do these things so that your beloved community will be more than just a dream, but it will be a reality, not just for us, 
but for all of creation. Amen. Friends, remember that you are loved, you are worthy, and you were created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today in any way that you can. Have an awesome day.